Hey YouTube, it's me, Brianna. Now, I know I did a book video for my last vlog, but in that same vein, today I'd like to do another. This one is going to be about five underrated books that shaped me as a writer. And hey, who knows, if you haven't read some of them, I just gave you five more books to add to your TBR list. <laughs> the first book is actually a trilogy. It's three books, I can't remember what they're called but altogether it's called The Water Trilogy. It's by Kara Dalkey. And this series is about, well, it's focused on the Arthurian legends, but you don't realize it until the final book. In the first book, and the second book, and the third book, the entire plot revolves around a mermaid. Um, I think her name is Nia, if I remember correctly but it's been a long time and I really need to reread these books because they are amazing. They're the perfect blend of historical fiction and fantasy and also I love mermaids. So it's just, yeah, it's they're great books. And the only sad thing about them is they're really difficult to find. Um, I feel like by now maybe an ebook version has been published somewhere. So you should be able to find them. Um, if not, I don't really know what to tell you because mine are in print and I'm going to keep them. The second book that shaped my writing is A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle. Langle? La Engel? I don't know. This is terrible because I swear I knew how to say her name before I started filming this and she's dead now so I feel doubly bad. Anyway, this book is probably one that you've heard of, most likely one that you've read, but I don't know when the last time you read it was. Um, if you're like me, you read it probably when you were younger and there was a lot of stuff that just whoop right over. So I reread it, um, I want to say two, three months ago, and it just blew my mind. Like, it's one of the best books. The best mixes of, I, I don't know, it's, it's science fiction and fantasy, but it's not, it's hard to describe. Anyway, you should read A Wrinkle in Time if you haven't already. And if you've seen that god-awful Disney movie adaptation, please don't count that. Go back and read the book. It's on Netflix. Yeah. So, if you see that on Netflix, don't click it. Just, no. No. Promise me you won't click it. The third book I want to talk about is Running Out of Time by Margaret Peterson Haddix. I had to read this book when I was in, I want to say, fifth grade. And it was good. Um, it was sort of, it's sort of historical fiction combined with just general fiction combined with fantasy combined with sci-fi. Not really fantasy. I guess science fiction. Well, more dystopian. Anyway, wow, clearly I don't know what category this book falls into. But it's about a young girl who lives in a colonial village and manages to sort of, I guess, escape a diphtheria outbreak, and she has to leave her little colonial life and run out to find a cure. And the interesting thing is that the cure is in another place. I'm trying not to spoil it. Um, I was just going to go ahead and say it, but I don't want to spoil it because there's a pretty significant twist toward, like, the very beginning. I'm just not going to talk about it, but you should read that book because it's amazing. The fourth book I want to talk about is Among the Hidden. I believe that's also by Margaret Peterson Haddix. If I'm wrong, just ignore me. But it's about a boy who lives in a world where parents can only have two children. He's the third child, and in this world, all the third children are considered hidden children. Their parents hide them in order to keep them from getting taken or killed or... Shoot, it's been a long time. But that's a really good book, too. It's also dystopian. Are you sensing a theme? And it's a great read. It's just, like, no matter how old you are, I'm pretty sure it's young adult, but it's so good. The last book I'm going to talk about is Black by Ted Decker. And let me just preface this by saying that I probably love every single book that Ted Decker has ever written, ever. I read Black when I was 12, and from what I can remember... I went through that book in about two hours because I just, I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop to eat. I couldn't stop to pee. I couldn't, I couldn't stop to think. Just, it was so good. And 
it's it's technically Christian lit and it's it's a thriller so I don't know it's not as overtly religious as some of his other books and I think everyone should read it even if you're not a Christian and you're not really into religious fiction it's just a great read it's gripping and it's engrossing and parts of it I feel like could really happen especially in light of the recent Ebola scare so yeah black read it and Black is the first in a series of three, well, now four books, but I pretend the fourth book doesn't exist. Um, but it's, oh gosh, if I could marry a book, mm, if I could marry a book, I think it would be Gatsby, and then maybe 1984, and then probably mm, all of Ted Decker's books. Just, we'd all share and share alike, um, like sister wives. Okay, so... That's, that's about it. I realize this video is short. Um, I didn't really mean for it to be short, nor did I mean to talk about that Ted Decker book for about two minutes. But hey, that's the beauty of filmmaking. You just never know when you're going to get swept up by passion. Um, <laughs> I think that's the only hand gesture I've made in this whole video. And I was going to edit it out, but I think I'm going to keep it in because you guys deserve to know how weird I am. That's that's all I have for you guys today. I really wish I had more. I thought about making something up to go here, like a blooper or something. That are underrated, but also made... <coughs> but I feel like that embarrassing aspect just needs to happen organically. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. There's more... Links of mine in the down bar if you want to, you know, like connect with me on Tumblr or Twitter, any of that stuff. I'm all up in that social media-ish. So let me know what five books you read when you were younger that shaped your writing or shaped your love for reading. And also let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see me cover in a future video. Bye!